news tonight. Out of revs to support Nigerians in South Africa with funds to sue perpetrators of violence. Business Nigerian investment inflow drops by $3.2 billion in second quarter of 2019. And on the foreign scene, former Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe dies age 95. A brief evening to you. Many thanks for joining us on the flagship news at 8 right here on Super Screen Television. Broadcasting to you live from our studios in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. And blessed Amondo say, and now the news in details. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, says the House is ready to authorize legal funding for Nigerians in South Africa who wish to take legal action against identified perpetrators of violence and those who sponsor the xenophobic attacks. The Speaker who made the disclosure in Abuja today while addressing a World Press Conference on the xenophobic attack in South Africa assures that the House of Representatives will work with stakeholders within and outside government to involve and implement a plan to evacuate Nigerian people from South Africa. To every citizen of Nigeria, in every city and every state who has watched recent events with rising anger and pain, we in the House of Representatives are with you. To those who are sorely tempted to respond to these latest incidents with violence on our streets and destruction in our community, I call on you to resist all such temptation. Your anger is justified. Your pain is rightly felt. But we cannot honor the memory of our fallen citizens by setting our streets aflame and our houses asunder. We will achieve nothing by destroying businesses that employ our people and provide a living for our families. We will honor the lives of our fallen brothers by making sure that never again Will our citizens' inalienable right to life and liberty be so wantonly denied here at home or anywhere else in the world? While commending the executive arm of government for the step taken so far, the speaker said the leadership of the House of Representatives will also invite the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Nigerian Ambassadors of South Africa, Chairman of the Nigerian Industrial Commission, and other stakeholders to jointly consider the causes of this latest incident. The leadership of the House of Representatives will also shortly invite the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Nigerian Ambassador to the Republic of South Africa, the Chairman of the Nigerian Diaspora Commission, and other stakeholders to jointly consider the causes of this latest incident of organized mass violence and murder of our people. We intend not only to determine the causes of these latest events, but also to assess the, and account for the losses in life and property that have occurred. This will allow the government to more accurately demand reparations to compensate our citizens who suffered in this recent orgy of violence. The House of Representatives is ready to authorize legal funding for those citizens who wish to take legal action against identified perpetrators of the violence, as well as those who sponsored them or permitted their actions to occur and continue. For the first time, the Speaker addressed journalists on the lawns at the back of the National Assembly complex, as done by the President of the United States at the White House. <laughs> 